Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mikey Report for August 8th, 2010. Glad you could be with us. So I'm sorry for the white walls, but this is all I have right now until I can actually get si situated and settled and we can actually have a backdrop or go out or have better lighting out in our in uh, the lounge but first we have a lot more stuff to get to especially in the way of n news well really not that much news for us here at the Mikey Report the static like I said, Static Kill was successful, testing was successful, and they are still working on that other relief well to solidify the... to make sure that nothing happens. So, that is the latest from the Gulf and the shrimpers down there are hoping for a good season this year. Um, <clears throat> also, there has been uh, a lot of news. Uh, Obama is confronting the tough job. Uh, say, uh, sell on the campaign trail, and, oh, it, ref we're referring to it as bottom kill, uh, for the BP thing. BP turns its attention to the bottom kill now that the static top st slash static kill is Obama uh, also hits court, the court with the N, with some NBA stars, Joaquin Noah, uh, Derrick Rose, LeBron James, uh, Magic Johnson, to name a few. <clears throat> in local, in some other news. Um, We have a service gained in the Comcast deal. In City Council on Tuesday decided that Comcast will continue their cable franchise agreement with Scranton following a unanimous vote. Negotiations with Comcast of Colorado, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, LCC over renewal of their agreement ended in early May and Council has had been reviewing the agreement since the end of May. Comcast, originally the Verdo Corporation, has had a non-exclusive contract with the city since January of 95. New contract is also non-exclusive and locks the city into another 15 years ca with the cable slash internet provider, taking it to 2025. New agreement has both advantages and disadvantages, but the but the Pittsburgh-based attorney Dan Cohen, who represented Scranton in the no negotiations, said that city gained several advantages in contract, including comprehensive and enforceable customer service standards. Uh, cable system specifications and state of the art provision to ensure that residents receive advanced services in a timely fashion and free internet service to 18 city facilities. And, and that's just to name a few. That's pretty much the latest. Uh, I don't didn't get to mention about the business headlines. Uh, markets ended down last week uh, at the 
end of last week. Uh, Dow was down 21.42, closing at 10,653.5. NASDAQ down 4.5 to 2888.5. And, and S&P down 4 ends four change to 11.2164. So pretty much kind of like an even status for uh, the markets. Well, for the S&P, anyway. The stock market may start to calm down this week with things kind of settling. And has Martha made it a comeback? Made a comeback? She's uh, everywhere. Martha Stewart didn't lose her touch being in jail, jail that's for certain. And we got a lot of sports action to get to, including but not limited to the Hall of Fame game and baseball, and especially some rivalry matchups, Phillies and Mets, and Yankees and Red Sox. We'll get to that in a moment, but first, let's check out our weather forecast. Currently, we're looking at 70s across the eastern seaboard, uh, eastern Pennsylvania area. 70 up in our location, up at our headquarters in Mount Cobb. Down here in Phoenixville, we're looking at 76, 77 degrees with a probably high pollen or air quality alert. With humidity settling in within, with this evening into the early morning hours. Currently, like I said, up in Mount Cobb, it is 70 degrees, but thunderstorms are possible within the next 36 hours. Isolated thunderstorms, 86, 87 degrees within the next 36 hours. Uh, which is Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, 84 degrees. Thursday, scattered thunderstorms, 77 degrees. Friday the 13th, scattered thunderstorms, 76 degrees. Pardon the yawning, by the way. Saturday the 14th, isolated thunderstorms, 76 degrees. Sunday, August 15th, 77 degrees. Monday the 16th and Tuesday the 17th, both scattered thunderstorms, both pretty high in percentages, 78 degrees respectively. As we check out our... F it is a medium air quality alert. It It's slightly oppressive. But we are looking at pretty nice weather down here the next 36 hours. Sunny, mostly sunny. Uh, it is ha going to be hazy, hot, and humid. Hot. As we look at um, pretty much low 90s for the first three days of the week. Um, but no rain scheduled in forecast until Thursday the 12th. And Friday the 13th, where we have scattered isolated thunderstorms as the temperature goes down to the low to mid 80s over uh, wrapping around into the, n the weekend into the next week. Sun Saturday and Sunday, the 14th and 15th, when most people are, when mo most student leaders are getting back. Uh, it's going to be a nice weekend, partly cloudy skies, and then the two days after that, 16th and the 17th, the closer it gets to my birthday, the close, more rain I see in the forecast, 85 and 86 degrees scattered thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday respectively. So really it's not going to be... Is going to be semi-drencher, apparently. 
but we got a lot of news in sports, including <clears throat> Tiger finishing his worst in a course that he's helped dominate. Tiger Wood at the World Golf Championship in Bridgestone has had his worst event. His final round was a 77. Not good for Tiger Woods lately with tournaments. So we got Yankees beating the Red Sox 7-2. to Toronto beat Tampa Bay, so Yankees gain another game on both te Red Sox and Rays. And Phillies beat the Mets 6-5, to but the Braves beat the Giants 6-3, to so uh, Phillies do not gain any ground. We'll be, ba we'll be back tomorrow night with more Mikey Report. Thank you, and good night.